Why grow blackberries? Of course they taste great, but they are also easy to grow. Whenever someone asks me what to start with for a home garden, I usually say blackberries. They are cold hardy, low maintenance, they grow well and are easily multiplied. My kids and I sure enjoy picking fresh blackberries in the garden each season. Here's an area that I have several pots being used for propagation. That orange container has split canes and I'm growing two new blackberry plants. This cane has been layered and now it's grown so fast that it's ready to be layered again. All five of those pots were started from a single cane. You can see how I've guided them over and I'm multiplying them. And now I have a sixth one here growing out of the bottom of the container. This is a sucker plant. You can see the roots growing out of the drainage holes and I'll probably take some root cuttings and start another blackberry plant to give away later. So that's six separate blackberry plants, all started from a single cane. So buy a single cane or a few blackberry plants and you can multiply them into many more and they produce food every year as long as basic conditions are met. Here's one of the plants I tip layered over into another pot. You can see the cane has been brought over and the tip covered with soil. I removed the rock that helped it stay in place from a few weeks ago. Check for strong roots by trying to lift it up and I can feel that it's in there solid. Use some clean shears and count up about four to six leaf nodes and cut it from the rest of the cane. Now I have another new blackberry plant propagated and ready to go. I can plant this in my blackberry row, give it away, sell it or share it with neighbors, or go plant it out in the food forest. I'll repeat that process for the other four pots, but for now, let's take a look at the sucker plant growing out of the bottom of the other pot. Here are the roots down through the drainage holes. This is another reason to grow blackberries. They are so easy to multiply. You can take root cuttings and put them in a pot or directly in the garden and start new blackberry plants. I might also use the roots to make some cuttings later, so that's why I'm taking the time to work down and keep as much of the main root intact as possible. Even after pulling this up, a new blackberry shoot may spring up later in the area. Here's a good look at the root and the sucker plant. Next, I'll separate the sucker plant from the layered cane and get it ready for potting, so I can let someone else benefit from the extra blackberry plant I now have. Make some room on the table and take a quick look at the roots. You can see I lost some of the secondary roots and the root hairs. You could cut a few inches off the end of the root and grow yet another blackberry plant if desired. Now it's time to pot the blackberry plant into its own container and I'll decide what to do with it later. Translation, probably giving away another plant to neighbors. Hopefully they aren't getting tired of all my plant giveaways. Place the root down in the trench and cover the soil back over. Tamp it down. I'm going to need some more soil on the top. So I'll add in that extra soil and top it off. And there you have it. Six blackberry plants all from one cane. Line them up and let's go over what I have. Here's the original on the right. The sucker plant in the middle that I cut from the bottom of the other plant. And then the other one that was tip layered into that pot on the left that I cut from the parent plant. I have four videos on my channel that you can easily follow to propagate blackberry plants. including serpentine layering where you bring a single cane across over to several pots. Simply take a trailing variety cane and guide it over to your first container and use a rock on the top. 
Trailing varieties are easier to serpentine layer because they bend and shape well. Here you can see the middle part of the blackberry cane with a leaf node that has been buried. As it grows and gets longer, I repeat the process guiding it over to another container and again burying the middle of the cane using a rock if necessary to hold it in place. Over again to a third container. And then ending this cane in a tip layer. Take the end of the blackberry cane and bury it about three inches deep in a container. In about two or three weeks, you will start to see roots growing if you use a clear container like this one. Now I'll separate them out and show the roots one last time and then line them up to start getting ready to be given away. I left this one in a small container too long, so now I'm moving it to a larger container. I like to reuse items instead of buying pots. Here you can see I use a plastic to-go cup, and I'm going to move it into another used container. This also makes it easy to sell or give away. So to recap, grow blackberries, especially if you enjoy eating them, but also because they are easy to grow and you can multiply them in a variety of ways. And once you get a row established, they will produce each year without you having to plant them over again from the start. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and share it, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you're growing in your garden. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe. If you're still here and you've made it all the way to the end of this video, then you must enjoy propagating plants as much as I do. And if so, maybe you'll like this video on propagating strawberries through runners. Here it is. This is my first ripe strawberry of the season. I'm super excited to see how many we get this year. And my kids really enjoy coming out and picking fresh strawberries. So you can see all the seeds on it right there. You can actually remove those seeds and plant them, but it takes a lot longer and it's a lot more intensive. The easiest way to propagate strawberries is to use runners. Here's a runner right here. So if you have some bare root strawberries and you plant them, they'll start sending out runners. And you can see the root right there at the bottom. So that's a new strawberry plant in the making. There's the root again. So the easiest way to propagate and get more strawberry plants is to use these runners. I usually take a cup, add some soil to it, and then where the runner's at, I will remove some of the soil and put the cup down into the ground to make it level, right along with where the runner's at. This way the new strawberry plant will go right into the cup. This makes it much easier to transplant, sell, or share with friends and family. I'm just gonna move some more dirt. Put the cup in. Level it out a little bit. Bring the soil back in, pack it back around so the cup doesn't fall over. Now I'll make a little space and put the strawberry runner right back in the pot. Cover it with some soil. You can also put a rock on top if you want, something to help hold it in place. And then in three weeks, I'll be able to separate that and I'll have a new plant. Here's a closer look. Here you can see several more runners shooting out from the plant. This one's kind of got more rooted. Can't quite pull it up. The roots are still very shallow, so they're very easy to dig up. Gonna carefully pull this one up. Take a look at the roots. It's just two little roots right there, but it's still ready to go. So I'll do the same process. I'll move some of the soil and I'll put the container right there. Put the runner back in the pot. Let's make some space for it. Let those roots go down a little bit. And now I'll cover it back up. It 
In three weeks, I'll be able to separate that from the main plant and it will be ready to go. Just water it in. Help me out and leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think about it, other videos you'd like for me to make, what you're growing in your garden. I try to respond to all the comments and I enjoy interacting with each of you. So here we are five days later and my runner is now growing its own runners. These things propagate quick. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and do the same thing right there at the end of the plant. I can bury that into a container and have a second strawberry plant started. Here's a better view. You can see all the runners shooting out everywhere. They'll shoot off out the side of your strawberry patch as well, and so I'll just take cups, fill them with soil, and grow brand new strawberry plants there too. I like to just take Gatorade bottles, cut them in half. It's just an easy way to make a free and expensive container, especially if you're going to share them or give them away. There's the original one I did at the beginning of the video. And the other one. So it's gone out. There's the original runner. It shot out its own runner. And that one touched the ground and it's growing a whole new plant right there as well. So I have two plants right there. So we'll separate these out. It's growing another one right there that I'll dig up later. Follow the runner back up. Make sure you cut the right one. Now let's pull it up and take a look. So it's got some roots growing out of the bottom. And this is after only three weeks. So this one's completely ready to go. I can transplant it to a bigger pot, sell it, give it away, share, whatever I want to do. In my opinion, that's the quickest, fastest way to propagate strawberries in only three weeks, much faster than using seeds. Here's another one that propagated itself, shot out runners, started dropping roots. I didn't catch it in time, so I'm just going to dig it up and put it into a container. At this stage, the roots are still pretty shallow, so just kind of scoop around it and put it into the pot. And now I have another one ready to go. Again, this is only after three weeks. So here's nine or so of my strawberry runners that I've done over the last three weeks. They're all doing very well. I'm gonna give most of these away. A couple of them I may repot into larger containers. Here's the original one that I first put into a container. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and share it, and leave a comment below telling me what you liked about it, other gardening videos you'd like to see me do, and even what you're doing in your garden. I take time to reply to all the comments as I enjoy interacting with each of you. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.